All right, problem two, we got this interval on this graph from zero to point or zero to four point five hours that shows water flowing into tank A at this rate, A of T. And during this same time interval, water is also flowing in, into tank B at a rate of B of T. They're both measured in liters per hour. Both of the tanks are empty at T equals zero. And the, you know, the graphs of A of T and B of T are, are both shown here. And they intersect at the point here, T equals K, and at T equals 2.416. Somebody fill that out right there. All right, part A, how much water will be in the tank? How much water will be in tank A at the time T equals 4.5? Okay, so since um, this function a of t tells you the rate at which the water is flowing, you simply need to integrate the rate from 0 to 4.5 to get the total amount of water in tank A. So this is simply equal to some amount, you know, and you can find this with your calculator because this is a calculator allowed problem. So let's go and let's look at our calculator. We got, go to our calculation screen, pick the calculus function, numerical integral from zero to 4.5. We're gonna enter and have the function two X minus five plus five e to the two sine of x. Let's see what we get. So 66.53. So that's going to be our answer. It's going to be about 66.53 liters. That's all there is for that one. Part B, um, during the interval from t, from t equals zero to k hours, water flows in the tank B at a constant rate of 20.5 liters per hour. What's the difference between the amount of water in tank A and the amount of water in tank B at the time t equals k? Okay, so um, this is interesting because We want to um, essentially know um, what k is first, and k can be found by finding the value for t that will give you 20.5. Because this whole, I guess, this is think of this as a horizontal line. The y value here will be um, remember this is k, and that's and the y value will be 20.5. So um, let's find let's find first what k would be by using this equation. So let's look at the graph. So let's graph a of t. Oops. So two. A graphing. Delete all that. So graphing 2x minus 5 plus 5e to the 2 sine of x. And that's sine where it's equal to 20.5. Whoa, this is, is this correct? I guess it is. Yeah, it's just at a different scale. Let's zoom out. And let's 
me actually um go with my pointer. Let's find my let's 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 get a little closer over here. Yeah. I'm having I'm not very man. I have, my fingers are not cooperating with this. Okay. And let's trace this and let's go by like um Let's change the trace step to, um, let's just go by ones. Or not by ones, let's just go by um, point 0.1. Let me trace this and I apologize for these technical difficulties. Graph trace. There we go. So let's move our move. Keep on going till I get to about twenty point five. Going back. Okay, so you can see I'm getting close. It's about point nine. Um, the exact value or the more approximate value will be point um point eight nine. Two. I don't want to waste your time more of me adjusting my trace step. For some reason, this calculator is giving me a hard time. Anyways, so we it can integrate from zero to k. That we can it integrates from zero to k, and then um, we can basically find the difference by subtracting. So let's again we have a the area. Underneath A is this shaded region. The area underneath B is just this whole rectangle, like the whole rectangular region, which is just a you know has a height of twenty point five and a width of one, or I'm sorry, a width of point eight nine two. So we take the area of B of T minus the area of A of T from zero to K. So send up our integral. So K is again about 0.892. The difference will be the integral from zero to 0.892 of 20.5. This is this is the equation, remember this is the equation for B of T on that interval, because it's constant, minus the equation for A of T on that interval. You can integrate this again in your calculator and again, I won't waste your time showing you doing my calculator because for some reason it's giving me, I don't want to mess up again. And just trust when you plug this in your calculator, you should get about 10 point like 599. This is the exact approximate value I got. Remember, this is just a rectangle. This is just, again, that rectangle. This whole green rectangle is just an area of, one, of 0.895, the base of point, all right, 0 0.892 times the height of 20.5. Okay, part C. Now the area of the region bounded by the graphs of y equals a of t and y equals b of t for k between, or for t between k and 2.416 is 14.7. How much water is in tank b at time t equals 2.416. Okay, so what this graph is saying is that this region up here, this red region, it has an area of 14.47. Let's put 14.47.
Now we can find how much water is in tank B if we know if we can integrate B from zero to two point four one six. The thing is, we don't have an exact equation for B of T the entire way. But if we add this area plus the area, you know, over here, we can find it. Again, but though we don't have this area here, though, we don't know the equation of B of T. So what we're going to do is we're going to add this green rectangle and add this green rectangle to the integral of A of T from 0.892 to 2.416, because that's gonna give you the entire thing. And then from there, you subtract the red and you'll be left with this and that. So for example, the green, first we have the green area. So that's just again, 0.892. times 20.5, that's the area of that green rectangle area, plus the integral of A of T from 0.892 to 2.416. That then this minus that top red area here, minus that 14.47. This is not part of the integral. This, remember, this whole, this integral just is just this part. Don't add that, don't make this part of the integral. So if you do that again in your calculator, you're gonna get that this will all add to about 48.313. And see, we just use this equation for A of T in our calculator. I got actually 48.3, liters. If you want me to show you in the calculator, just let me know and maybe in the comments um, because I just don't want to waste your time right now. My calculator is, I'm having <laughs> some issues in typing in my calculator, but um, this is, just simply entering these numbers in your calculator correctly. All right, now part D, during this time interval from 2.7 to 4.5 hours, the rate at which water flows into tank B is modeled by this equation, W of T, liters per hour. Now it's asking, is the difference W of T minus A of T increasing or decreasing at time T equals 3.5? Okay, so, if it's asking whether it's increasing or decreasing, you essentially are gonna look at the derivative of this. So let's first write an equation for D of T. D of T will be the difference. The difference is W of T minus A of T. So you wanna see is, you basically wanna ask is, is D of T, well, I guess at this point is D of, is D prime of 3.5, is D, what is, is D prime of 3.5, is it greater than zero or is it, or is it less than zero? I'm not even sure why I'm writing the question out because you can hear me. <laughs> so we want to basically just know the sign of D of T or we want to know the sign of D prime of T at 3.5. So D prime of T is simply W prime of T minus A prime of T. 
And we can evaluate this specifically is d prime of 3.5 is equal to w prime of 3.5 minus a prime of 3.5. Now you can do this in your calculator. You can go straight to the calculus function and find the numerical derivative at a point. Let's make the value 3.5. And we're finding the first derivative. So enter d of t, enter this equation. You're gonna enter w of t minus a of t. So 21 minus thirty x Twenty-one minus thirty x over t minus eight squared, and then this will then be then a minus a of t here. So minus a of t. And again, I apologize for my slow calculator typing. I'm usually better at this. So 2x minus 5 plus 5e to the 2 sine of x. Okay, so I hope I didn't make a mistake. All right, looks like I'm good. That's, that's the correct answer. It should get about negative 1.14. So since this is negative, it's going to be decreasing. Decreasing since d prime of 3.5 is less than 0. All right, so there you go. That was a, that was a long one. Um, so I hope that helps. But give me um, any feedback, any questions on the that you know you're wondering and I'll do my best to get back to you. Well, good luck.